just wanted to do a quick little review on the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is the packaging. It's kind of dirty. Wait, let me clean it up for ya. This is the packaging. Really pretty. The actual powder looks like this. And as you can see, I've put a quite a nice little dent into it. I also have the special ambient lighting powder brush, and it comes in this little velvet pouch, which I do keep the brush in it just because it's such an odd little shape. You can't really stick it in a brush holder or anything. It's a super soft brush, and it has the same color plastic as the compact. I'll talk about the powder first. There's a bunch of different colors of them and they're all finishing powders, which means you put them on after all the rest of your makeup is done. kind of just completes your look. There is a little bit of a sheen to it. Very, very finely milled. How I apply this is I just apply it all over my face. The only part of my face that I would avoid is right here because I do have some fine lines there that the slight iridescence of the powder does tend to accentuate that. At first I wasn't really sure if it actually did anything, but over time using it, I've realized that it actually does. It makes a soft focus finish. When I apply my makeup, I can go a little heavy handed sometimes. My blush will look super bright. I also wear bronzer and I also wear a sculpting powder. This powder, if I apply it on top of everything, it kind of melds it all together. It takes away all the harshness. So it's pretty much foolproof. If you suck at putting on makeup, if you throw this powder on top, it kind of makes it a little less noticeable that you don't do your makeup very well. The brush, I was actually not too sure if it would be worth the money to go ahead and buy this brush, but I have actually enjoyed it and I don't regret buying it. The way it's shaped is especially nice for this powder because it's kind of got that rectangular shape and it makes it easy to apply the powder on different areas of the face. So for my cheeks, I kind of apply it like this, and then when I bring it down along the jawline, I will do this. And then on my forehead, I will start out like this, and then turn it this way to get around the skinnier areas of the face. It does make it super easy to apply the finishing powder. Like I said, I keep it in the little package just because it's easier to store that way, and then I will put it in my makeup storage right beside the powder. I've been using it every single time I wear makeup since March, and this has just been like a consistent part of my makeup routine all along. So that's saying something. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on the ambient lighting powder in Dim and the brush also. Both of them I do not regret buying. I think that this powder is gonna last me a long time since I've been using it almost five months consistently every single time I wear makeup, which is almost every single day. I have put a dent in it, but I don't think I'm anywhere near hitting pan on this. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.